Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. You return. Shall I deal? Let's play this game of yours.
interesting round. If you desire a rematch, let me know. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course no. I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Pathetic. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Keeps pouring like this, all my bulbs are rot.
lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Tracks lead back to the village. Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? Not a fish, my wounds loose. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Stinks of piss and vodka. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Tracks lead back to the village. Oh, I've enjoyed serrating. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. All the better. Griffin don't fly in the rain. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. The fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. Why not talk to a non-human? Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. We you know magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. 
Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. Gotta go. Apologize. Don't let us talk to strangers. <laughs> Up and at him. Hmm? What? What? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Turn customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me what you got.
so long. Like this, all my bulbs are what? I wonder if the wench took down the wash. Hey! Ow! We like might. Ten out of gun. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. But I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. <laughs> We's catching snails. I can't decide. Should we draw it or no? Got to make soup out of something. But Tosley said he'd not give his dog this water. Not the so many corpses. Got written. a lot of bread today. Sure to be poison. Sure, not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Hovel instead? Not on your life. I'd rather be ill than disturb a ghost. God's will kill you. Greetings. Bobbing about like shit in a blood hole. Take it easy. Come on. Kings do the fighting. <laughs> That's it, Roach.
Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like twere his own. I was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must avoid me, cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. I was right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. Nothing, nothing. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. This frying pan. Hmm. Scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. For the road. Fry up a nice white fish for some. a pipe! Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on. Remove it. You will me. My promise will never be. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Requisition the share of your harvest. Aye, Your Excellency. I know there is little left in your granaries. But soldiers are men too, and so they must eat, correct? How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak, peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. A Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it, and then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I... Cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. He only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... 
Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mizlov. Thanks. Es sun diakten. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walkie, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we have a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters, they got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Morale holding up around here? You boys think you can win this thing? Ah, a spy after all. Or one to stir trouble. Neither. Just curious. Right. Well, tell anyone who cares we will win this war, because Radovid is mad. As everyone knows, and we've an extraordinarily well-drilled and well-supplied army. Incidentally, did you wish to buy something? Show me where you're peddling. So long. And I'd faint. This is too much. Case in a bar. I am my data. A strap as I'm not in a bar. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard. If my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead.
password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, you eh? know? Counting the... And thick scope. <laughs> Show me what you're peddling. So long.
Let it rain. What's the point in the fields? Let's go. <laughs> Let it rain. What's the blood from the fields?
Run, Roach. Come on. 